morning, fam. Good morning. And some of you may have picked up. I like things. I like doing things in threes, or I just have this thing about threes. You know, I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I can't help it. So a lot of times I say good morning, good morning, good morning. But anyway, good morning. Four, four, nine, well, actually seven. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm silly. Um, I am on the way to the dentist for my routine cleaning. It's 8.55 on Thursday morning. Yeah, 8.55 on Thursday morning. Right now, I really don't know. Yeah, because my appointment was for Thursday morning. The days are getting away from me. It's all running together. It's just on the go constantly. to travel again for work next week um no flight time just um uh, it's a drive not that far away not as far as atlanta which is not like overly far but closer than that different direction but um i have that next week it's an overnight stay <clears throat> i'm sorry for clearing my throat the dentist is in the opposite direction of where I work. And it's about mm, let's say 15 minutes from my house in the opposite direction. So maybe 25 minutes to get back to work once I leave. Dear, mm, I tag that one. <laughs> They're okay because he's not. So, this is about to be 10 minutes. I have not been driving 10 minutes. That's what it says. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So, 10 minutes, 10 minutes to get here. Gas is two, 289. Shoot, I wish it was that price when I had to fill this dog on truck up. Oh my gosh. But anyway, my dentist appointment was great. Um, I made an appointment to go back week after, in two weeks, week after next. They had one for next week, but it's the same day I have to travel for work. So, um, they gave me the next week and, uh, I'll go in and do a consultation for basically Invisalign's. I told him I wanted something. I used to, uh, wear retainers and when my retainer, old, I mean, like when I was young, because my front two teeth were buck teeth and um they were big and they were turned like this so i wore the rest of the teeth were fine just those two and they were like this so i wore retainers to straighten those but the retainer broke before i finished out the time that i was supposed to wear them or before my teeth finished correcting so they're still slightly slightly turned and, you know, I told him I really would like to uh, finish the process. So, basically, Invisalign is one of the options. Naturally, I wouldn't have to wear them as long as some people because that's the only thing I'm correcting. And um, so, we set up the consultation for basically two weeks. And I'll go back in, um, they'll do some pictures, go through explaining everything. I've already had the x-rays, the type of x-ray done 
that they need for that. I just happen to have had it done at my last appointment. So I don't have to do that again um, because you would have to pay for that. So anyway, we'll do the consultation. They'll get me a quote, tell me what my whole process would be and I can decide yes or no at that time. The consultation is no cost. And um, go from there. I'm pretty sure, unless they come in with that big price that he said. I mean, big for just being just my two, these two teeth on a slight turn. Don't get me wrong. You know, if it was all my teeth or some, or if it was if my teeth were worse than what they are, then that price he said would be understandable, but because it's just two teeth and it's not a lot of movement that's needed, I wouldn't pay that price just for that. We'll see what they say. When we do the consultation. So after that, I left that, I left there I went by um, Panera to get cinnamon rolls to bring to work. My daughter was in there studying. She had gone there after I left and went to the dentist. That's where she goes and study. But I love their cinnamon rolls. So I went there and got a box of four cinnamon rolls and, um, and got to see her. And then left there and went by the locksmith because my boyfriend's key, I don't know if I showed you guys, but um, I can't show you right now because I'm driving and his, this truck, actually, you have to put the key in the ignition. But anyway, it's a key fob key type key. And um, it's, oh, I did tell you guys about it. Well, you know, it's loose. It's loose. The metal actual key part that goes in the ignition is loose within the key fob. So you have to be very careful. And he only has one key, which is always, I, my son was like that with one of his, with his, with his last car. I cannot stand only one key. You gotta go get a key made, that's a priority. That's more than those shoes, those, whatever else you can spend that kind of money on, go get an extra key. It just, to me, is a no brainer. You have to have an extra key. You know, it's, it's, it's a necessity. I saw this video on YouTube where the guys bought the shells, you know, like I said, I explained before in another video, bought the shells and took the, the guts basically out of the broken shell, the broken key fob and put them in a new shell. When that's all that's wrong is the shell is weak or broken in some way. And, all. and it saves you a lot of money because then all you have to do is just have the metal key cut part, key part cut so it's like twenty dollars for that kind of key so i was hoping to be able to do that but inside his current key fob the the guts are glued to the key fob shell so being that it's the only key the guy was going to do it for me at the locksmith where i went to just now but being that it's glued and I mean glued really good. He didn't want to risk breaking it, trying to get it apart to put into the shell. I just, I stopped him and I was like, well, just, you know, give me your prices on just getting a new program key and all. So they can do two things. They can cut a key and program a separate remote, like a little remote that goes on your keychain with your key. If you do it that way, it's 125, you get it today. Or they can pick up your, get your programming. And I think they, they put it on something else. And then order your key, your program key. And the one, just like what you have now, just the single key with the remote on it and all the key fob. And that's 145, so just a $20 difference. So I had him go ahead and do that. And um, and then I'll still have the weak key. So that's still two keys. And they said, um, 
with my shells they actually could cut one of them and it will open the truck unlock the truck but it won't start the truck I would need the remote to be able to start the truck so um, I think I'm just going to return the shells to Amazon I ordered I went ahead and paid for the um, new key normal key this will be a backup key and then at some point at some point he can get another key made uh, another good key made my face is itchy I'm sorry right here I need a facial I need a facial 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 I may do that sometime before the end of the year. I don't know. After the first of the year. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of fine little bumps I need. Lance. So now I'm right here. You see campus going by in the back. Fujifilm. So I'm on the main road in front of the campus. And I will be at my buildings within five minutes so this I was out a little longer than I expected I, I think I had said 10 30 so it's 11 but I got a lot accomplished that needed to be done so I'm getting this key for my boyfriend for uh, it'll be it's just because because he needs it but you know he needs it he needed an I have a, a air pump with my car it came with my car well it came with my previous Malibu and it has the filler stuff in it if you have a filler if you have a flat you know it can put the liquid in there to seal the flat and then um, it has the line for the air there's two lines on it so a lot of times he and my daughter will ask to use my uh, air pump which of course I don't mind but sometimes we have been in a situation where all of us have like a slow leak going and so everybody kind of needs it and just who's whosoever is the worst that's who get that's who keeps it with them and the others will fill up you know accordingly and um so i bought her one some months back to keep in her car pl car plus she uh you know she drives to like other little cities close by where we have family and she has friends and, and cousins and stuff and they hang out so you know she's back and forth up and down the road and whatnot and um and she was working somewhere else where she had to drive every day so i had gotten her one to put in her car i got my son one before he left to put in his car and um he liked his i found a different one for my daughter because i couldn't remember the one i got for my son got her that one she loves it she likes it better than mine and um so I ended up ordering that same one like a month or two ago and had it delivered to my boy, boyfriend at his house. So it was a little surprise. And y'all, y'all might think that's nothing, but it's something that for me helps with their safety and all. So it means something to me. And the fact that I know they need it it's something they actually need but hadn't gotten for themselves and it helps me know that you know they have what they need so that's really I consider those thoughtful gifts good gifts and uh, he was really he was really happy when he saw it and also uh, this key is another thing and I know how long he's been going on about this key even before it got messed up at the repair shop just about him having only one key and uh so i uh got the key and especially once it did get 
once it did get we you know broken at the, at the dealership i'm like you really need to get a key because that's the only one but you know my boyfriend is a single dad he has four daughters and um I just, you know, I I want to help where I can. So, I got the key fob. I'm glad I could do that. Why did it come on? Man? And why did it come on AM? I don't know where everything is. Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to take this in with me because it has to go in the fridge. have no food I didn't have time with all that running I just didn't have time so we'll go to dinner put this in my bag I guess I can put everything in the bag in a sense you know but Two eighty nine, yes, it's two eighty nine. Found a better space on the end with a scooter beside me. on the third row. I'll take it. It's four twenty-nine. Four thirty. I say that right. It's four thirty. I am off work. so crazy at work today that's all I'm gonna say about that it was crazy not for me per se but for a lot of people it was in a sense that's still for me because it affects the work environment and all that kind of stuff look at this plastic gloves curl gloves it's just terrible Terrible, terrible, terrible. So now, my daughter ended up going to the store and getting the stuff that I was going to have to get now. So I thank her for that. She's just sweet like that. She made all A's on her finals this week. She had um, three final finals exams this week. And uh, I think it was like 96, 97, 94, or something like that on her grades on those exams. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's really good. Very proud of her um, and happy for her because I know that means a lot to her. So, whew, I'm sorry, I need a nap. And it's 4.30 and like I said, she already went to get that stuff. Oh, snap. Uh, I get it tomorrow. I get it tomorrow. I'm not going back. I left my stuff that I had to take in and put it in the fridge when I came to work so that I wouldn't have to go back by my house. Um, I had just said like 15 minutes ago, don't forget it. So I forgot it. But I don't have to have it tonight. So that's, that's cool. So I'll get that tomorrow. I am going home. I'm going to go home, take a nap, because I'm still trying to catch up. And then we're going out to dinner. And then I'm coming back home and take a nap. Now, I have to do a little stuff on the, um, some budgeting and things on the computer. I have to still work on the remodel plans for the house. It's a lot. I have a funeral tomorrow. It's at two. There's a lot of stuff. And I have a dress. It's a black.
black dress with gold buttons. And I want to take the buttons off. I need to look at the dress again. Because if I can, if I think it'll look right, I'm taking the buttons off. My daughter um, tried on one yesterday or the day before. Yesterday. And I told her to take the gold buttons off of it. And it looks like a new dress. I had some pants, some slacks, pants that I did take the gold buttons off, and they look good. I'll wear them now. Which when I bought them, I knew I wanted to take the buttons off, but I had it. And I think I still I have a wine color pair, and I need to take it off of it. Take the buttons off of those, off of that pair. <clears throat> I just have so much to do. You guys know how that is. You ever feel like you're just like running, like you, you're running and running trying to get caught up. It's like you can't catch up with yourself. You can see yourself here, but you can't catch up with yourself. I don't know. Some of you may understand that. I'm I wish I could describe it better. It's like I can see myself where I should be. And I'm trying to get there. But no matter how hard I'm trying, it's like I'm working really hard and going and going and going and doing it. I can't see, get to where I see myself being. Maybe that was a little better. But I just have to keep it moving and keep working. But you also have to keep resting. Because lack of rest does impact your thought process, your performance, your physical, your mental health, all of it, everything, stress level, all of it. So today is December 8th, and I say that because, you know, I'm trying to do vlogmas and I was like I'm just gonna do 12 days of vlogmas or 15 days so to say if it stops at Christmas I was doing 12 days just like the 12 days of Christmas the 12 days of vlogmas because I figured I could do half the time because I've never really you know this is just my first year I'm just hitting my anniversary and you know? so um so so far I've posted four videos by the time you see this one this one will either be the fifth or the sixth possibly the seventh because I have one two three four that could go ahead of this one um, because of what they are they don't they don't necessarily have to be ahead of this one but uh, they could go ahead of this one. Two of them, I still have to film more footage. There's something, they're taking what I'm doing in them takes several, occurs on different days. Let's just say it occurs on different days, but then I'll edit it all together. And um, so those aren't finished because I haven't finished what I'm doing in them. is all loaded it just needs to be edited so that's a possible four all together and um, for some reason I feel like there's still even one more but whichever way hopefully I have something edited and ready to go up Saturday. And 
that would be five videos, ten days, five videos. So, you know, it might not be that many people that that watch them, but like I said before, I like doing this, so it's fun. It's enjoyable. Even if one person watches and likes, I'm happy with that. You just never know what you can get from anywhere. So somebody might watch five minutes and ooh, that's cool. Or just ooh, I go through the same thing or think the same thing or. I never knew I could find this at that store or oh that's a different perspective just all kind of things you can take away from watching different people you know you can learn something from everyone even if it's a anti-lesson like learn what not to do I'll be home shortly so I'm gonna close this right here and it's 440 in a minute to be at home and I'm taking a nap before we go in. So I'll talk to you guys or see you at dinner fam. Christmas parade? Uh. 